let us look at this question I told you to do this if you had seen my last video uh, this is continuation from this question this is the graph of the function we found the area between 0 to 2 and uh, you want to find now the area between minus 2 to 2 so that means you have to first find this area okay we have already found this area so you have to find basically this area so uh, it's from minus 2 to 2 for the same function so to find in a mathematical way so area I will I'll use a calculator this time area you have to go in two stages I'll go from minus 4 to 0 of this function which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x dx plus from 0 to 2 of this function. Now the reason why we have to do in two steps is this area is positive. This area is this area mathematically is positive because it's above the curve above the y x axis. And this is under the curve, so it'll be that's why we had to use the modulus. Okay, you can see here yeah, the ultimate answer that you got was negative. But because you had the modulus, modulus is a mathematical tool to change a negative quantity to a positive quantity. Okay, so negative quantity, suppose in maths and physics, there can be negative quantity which does make sense. Okay, distance can be negative distance can be positive if you learn physics you know if you go forward it's positive if you go backwards it's negative okay so you can have a positive time and negative time so you can have a positive area and a negative area a negative area is only an area which is mathematically or graphically under the x x x okay so here that's why we have to split this in two this is a positive area and this would be negative area you already know this which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x dx. Now, I'll not go over the whole process. You can, uh, I'll show you a different way of doing this on a graphic calculator. So, uh, which is really exciting. So, get a calculator out. Okay, and uh, menu, go to graph, and type in this equation, which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x and then just graph it okay it's a huge graph yeah that's fine okay now to do this in the graph menu you have to have this scale of initial okay then only it will go to be neat so it will go in neat steps i'll explain what i mean so then you go g solve and then you press F6 and then you press F3 which is integration dx okay and so this is your lower bound so that's in the middle so this is your lower bound okay so I'll first make the lower bound mine uh, uh, G solve and then let me take two It'll take a long time to come to minus 4. So we'll keep working, keep pressing. This is minus 4. This is a lower bound. And then we go execute. And then you keep. Then they're asking you what's your upper bound. So you have to scroll and go up to 0. So what the calculator does is it adds all the infinitesimally small uh, rectangles. I'll show you this is okay now if you press execute this is doing I'll show you this if you ah, this what it does is it adds up all infinitesimally small rectangles between under this curve okay so that is 42 and two-third so this area is 42 and two-thirds so I can say the answer is 42 and two-thirds plus this was six and two-thirds six and two thirds so this is uh, 48 plus four thirds which is 48 plus one plus one thirds so the final answer is 49 and 
one third unit squared. Okay. The next question is again an excellent question. I don't. Uh, it'll take a long time, so I'll do this in the next video. This is an again an excellent question.